hyperbaric therapy is an amazing tool. I've seen it done absolutely wonders in many health conditions. At the same time, hyperbaric therapy requires financial investment and time investment because you always need to do a series of treatments. It's not a one treatment solution. So everybody wants to know how many hyperbaric sessions are actually needed to see the results. And it's a legitimate question. So I'll try to answer this question in this video. First of all, in order for us to um, sort of have an understanding how many sessions will be needed, we need to set health goals to see what kind of health conditions we're looking to improve with the use of hyperbaric therapy. For example, recovery from a strenuous workout will be very different than management of an autoimmune condition. Once we determine that, we can move on and see how many sessions might possibly be needed. Now, when your hyperbaric practitioner says, I think that you would need 20 HBOT sessions, 48 HBOT sessions or 80 HBOT sessions, whatever that number is, this is usually the minimum amount of sessions that hyperbaric practitioner wants to see before they can reassess and see what kind of results this therapy is bringing. In my personal opinion and what I recommend, that this number is never less than 10 sessions, regardless of what pressure is being used, especially if we're looking to improve a chronic condition. Now, this number can be 10, 20, 30, 40, 60, 80, even more than 100. So again, it depends on the health goals of the individual. Also, what kind of pressure are we using? and the frequency of the treatments. In my opinion, frequency is one of the most, if not the most important factors in HBOT. By frequency, I mean how close together these sessions will be done. In other words, how many sessions a week is this person going to get uh, in a hyperbaric chamber? Three sessions a week is minimum that I recommend because if we sort of spread it further apart, there is a less benefit that is being seen and normally it would lead to a situation when a person will need a lot more sessions than if they were to do these sessions close together. And also that the results from this infrequent use of hyperbaric therapy will be a lot less than if the person were to do hyperbaric treatments every day or five treatments a week or three treatments a week. It's a part of a hyperbaric protocol and in my opinion, it should be determined by a hyperbaric practitioner. I mean the frequency of the sessions, the amount of oxygen that will be used during a hyperbaric session, the amount of pressure, and the length of the time a person is spending inside a hyperbaric chamber. All of these variables are part of a hyperbaric protocol. As I said, 10 sessions is a minimum and the rest really depends on the condition that we are looking to improve with the use of hyperbaric therapy. Now there is sort of a, another side of that extreme and when we look at the situation when somebody is getting their hyperbaric treatments almost every day for a prolonged period of time without taking any breaks. So this person is getting maximum amount of sessions that they can get, or sometimes they even do it twice a day. Is it a good situation? In other words, can you overdo HBOT? Can you do too much HBOT? In my opinion, yes, you absolutely can because hyperbaric therapy produces oxidative stress. It's part of increasing the amount of oxygen. Now, normally, our body can upregulate their antioxidant defenses to combat this increased oxidative stress. However, either because a person had a lot of oxidative stress to start with, or because they're using other oxidative therapies together at the same time, or they're just doing too much of a one oxidative therapy. This oxidative stress can get to the point when it's not offset 
by the antioxidant capacity of the body. So we're not in that perfect spot on, of getting the most benefits of hyperbaric therapy or any therapy for that matter because you can overdo anything. You can exercise too much at the gym and you will not feel well the next day because you overdid it. Same idea, you can absolutely overdo hyperbaric therapy. My advice is start with a minimum amount of sessions, which is usually 10 to 20 sessions. Reassess your progress. And I'd like to talk a little bit about how to assess and reassess the hyperbaric progress. When you're just starting hyperbaric therapy, you can do a series of blood tests you can um, check your biologic age, for example, and see how it changes with um, the ongoing hyperbaric treatments. And I will shoot a really good video about it because this is exactly what I am doing right now. And you can write down main symptoms that you can currently have. For example, maybe right now you're not getting good quality sleep and you're using some of the track devices that help you track the quality of your sleep. Um, you start doing hyperbaric therapy, you get your first 10 or 20 sessions. I recommend 20 sessions, of course, especially if you're doing lower pressures. So you do your first set of sessions and you reassess. At the beginning, rate a quality of your sleep as one of the symptoms on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being very poor and 10 being excellent. Then reassess 20 sessions later. Sleep is just an example. You can choose any symptoms you like, headache, um, joint pain, um, fatigue, lack of energy, things like that. So you reassess and you see the progress. This will be your guide in how many sessions you've done, what kind of results you are seeing and how many more sessions you might need to completely resolve the issue. Of course, the number of sessions, the question is very personalized. It's, it's individual question. We all will need different number of sessions to start seeing the results. Another thing I'd like to mention that there's usually a delay between getting the sessions done and seeing the real result. What I mean by that is that short-term benefits like improved energy, improved sleep, improved mood will be seen right away most likely even during your first hyperbaric session you will feel that there, you experience less pain and that your mood is slightly better you might sleep better that night these are the short-term effects of hyperbaric therapy long-term effects things like wound healing or stem cell production or improved collagen synthesis that we'd like to see, for example, in anti-aging, but also in healing from the wound or injury. These benefits require multiple sessions, 20 sessions, for example. So even though you are getting the benefits, you're not seeing the benefits yet. That's why it is important to do your first set of sessions let's say it's 20 sessions before all these benefits like stem cell production will be seen and will work to your benefit and will help you improve health. I hope this somewhat helps to answer your question on how many sessions will be needed. If you'd like a more definite answer in your particular situation, I recommend that you book a hyperbaric consultation following the link in the video description so we can go over your case, over your health situation and help us understand what other factors are influencing your therapy results to determine how many sessions might be needed in your particular case. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.